We begin tonight with breaking news. We are at the scene of two serious fires going on right now in the capital region. Anna Myler is in Rotterdam tonight where a 97-year-old man died this evening. Jessica Layton is in Farallon Avenue in Albany, but first we want to go to Anna Myler with the very latest on the situation there. Good evening, Anna. Good evening, Jim. It's still a very active scene out here tonight. Investigators are about three homes down from where we're standing, trying to figure out how this deadly fire began. We are just learning the name of the man who was killed. Rotterdam police say 97 year old Frank La Rosa was at home when flames erupted in his living room, killing him. Fire departments responded to an emergency call around 7 o'clock tonight. When they entered the home, they found La Rosa already dead. Fire officials say the Flames started in the living room, but they aren't sure how. Dozens of firefighters work to extinguish the flames in frigid temperatures that have dropped into the teens. Officials say La Rosa is the only one who lived here at 1930 Rensselaer Avenue. We did see animal control come in to take his dog. Officials say right now the fire doesn't appear suspicious. Not at this point, but again, we haven't even started the investigation, so. Um but it doesn't appear that way right now. We have to get in and take a look around. And we have help coming from the uh, Office of Fire Prevention and Control. Uh, it's heartbreaking. Um, somebody's family member, um, it, it really is, it's, it's awful. Rensselaer Avenue is still blocked off by caution tape right now as investigators look into the cause of the fire. Rotterdam police say an autopsy will be performed to determine La Rosa's cause of death. Reporting live in Rotterdam, Anna Myler, News Channel 13. Back to you, Jim. Anna, these cold temperatures must have made it really difficult for the firefighters to get their job done tonight. It did. We asked if there were any complications, and they said, really, it's just the cold temperatures are the only thing that hindered getting the fire out. It did take them several hours, but that is the only complication they spoke of. Thanks very much. Anna Myler in Rotterdam for us tonight. Now